Hello, my perfect family. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Liang. If this is your first time watching my video, you are very welcome. And God is welcoming you to see His perfect word from my video every day. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you are very welcome to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I have a very important and encouraging message from Lord Jesus for us today. This message is for everybody, including myself. The Lord Jesus has a very important thing to tell us today. Please don't skip this video. Very important. The Lord sent me a vision. I saw a person is lying down on the beach. It looked like this person is dying. This person doesn't breathe. Then I saw another person came to this person and used mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to rescue this person. After trying for a while, this person gave up because this person felt so tired. Then I saw a man walking to them. This man took over and start using mouth-to-mouth resuscitation to rescue this person. Finally, this person survived. Then I heard the Lord say, rescue you, rescue you. The Lord Jesus wants me to deliver two messages for each one of you, including myself today. First of all, in the vision, a person is dying on the beach waiting for anybody to rescue this person. Finally, a person showed up to use a mouth-to-mouth -mouth recitation to rescue this person who is dying. Unfortunately, only tried for a while, then this person gave up. The Lord Jesus wants to tell us that. Do not give up so easily. He knows some situations we are facing are really very, very difficult. Some of you couldn't tolerate anymore, or you have no any solution for that anymore, or you have no any energy or any way to deal with this problem anymore. The Lord Jesus understands that. So he wants me to tell everybody that do not give up so easily because everything has a solution. Everything can be resolved by the Lord. So today the Lord Jesus say, I'm coming to you to rescue you. That's why the Lord said, rescue you rescue you. The Lord Jesus wants you to know that he will never ever leave you. No matter how difficult the situation you are facing right now, you will never ever leave you. Okay? Jesus loves you so much. He will do his best to rescue you in any kind of horrible situation. Just talk to him. Call his name, coming to rescue you. The second message, the Lord Jesus wants us to understand that nothing is impossible because the Lord is the creator for the whole world. He can make things from impossible to become possible for you. The only one thing the Lord Jesus wants you to do is to believe the Lord, to believe His words, to have faith in Him, have very strong faith in Him. Always believe that impossible thing can become possible for you once you request. In the vision, that the person is dying. When everybody has no any way to rescue this person, there's a man that showed up 
to rescue this dying person. And this person survives again. That person, that man, is our Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus wants you to understand that. He can give you miracle if you request. If you don't request, nothing will happen to you. You must have a faith in Him. So your miracle will happen to you. Even if it's a dead situation for you right now, nothing is impossible for the Lord Jesus. He can turn things around for you. He can make a dead situation become alive for you again because He is our Lord. Jesus loves you so much. Do not give up. Pray to Him, asking Him to rescue you, asking Him to give you a miracle. Our Father gives the Lord Jesus such a power to give you a miracle. You must believe that. Miracle is coming to you once you request. Before yesterday, after I woke up about five hours later, I received a phone call. I received a very, very bad news to me. I was crying. I bent my knees on the ground. I talked to the Lord. I said, I am making video for you every day to deliver your message for everybody every day. Why you treat me like this? You want to let me die? Then suddenly, the Holy Spirit showed up. Thank you, my Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit showed up. He said, miracle. I said, miracle? What do you mean? Then he said, pray. Then I said, so you mean you want me to pray to Lord asking for a miracle? He said, yes, pray. So immediately, I start praying. I asked Lord Jesus to give me a miracle. I said, Lord Jesus, you are the only one who can give me miracle to turn things around for me right now. I need to do something to help me turn things around, turn things around, cancel the evil spirit, evil plan in my life, turn things around for me. Give me the miracle, give me the miracle, give me the miracle. Several hours later, I received a little bit good news, but not completely. I mean, my problem hasn't resolved completely. So I keep praying. Then I talked to Lord said, today I didn't eat anything so far. I will not eat anything. I'm doing fasting right now to request a miracle to be happen to my situation right away. Today, within 24 hours, I want this miracle. I'm doing the fasting. I will not eat anything. So I didn't eat anything for more than 40 hours. Next day, which is yesterday. Yesterday afternoon, about two o'clock, I received the good news. Things really turned around for me. It's a miracle, everybody. It's real. This just happened to me yesterday. A real miracle. I make the Father to let the things turn around for me. You know what? The things that happened to me, there's no any way to solve that problem. I'm dead. I mean, if a Nothing can be resolved. I'm dead. I will lose everything. However, the Lord Jesus gave me a miracle. So I start thinking, what happened? Why sometimes when I pray for miracle, it's not happening? This morning, the Holy Spirit reminds me something. I'm going to tell you right now what the Holy Spirit said. Okay, the Holy Spirit 
told me that the problem is the face. When we request something from the Lord Jesus, we ask Him to give us a miracle. Do we have a, such a strong faith that it will happen no matter what? Do you have such a faith about a miracle? Or we just say, oh, please give me a miracle. And in our mind, there's still some doubt about is it possible the miracle will happen to me? So the problem is that if we really have such a strong faith to believe that miracle will happen to us. So Lord Jesus said, you must believe that. If you don't believe, you will not receive the miracle. Because when you have the faith, you believe, it will happen no matter what. Then when you are saying you a prayer for a miracle, this everything around you is like uh, changing. All this is a uh, feeling, everything becomes so positive. Yes, everything becomes positive for you. So immediately the thing turn around for you. All problem will be solved automatically. I mean, the Lord make the problem to be solved for you. The miracle happening. That is what I was doing yesterday. I just believe, yes, yes, he will turn around. He will turn around for me, turn around for me, turn around for me. Like this, then it happened. It turn around. Amazing, amazing. I'm telling you, it's amazing. You must do that, okay? This morning, the Holy Spirit asked me to give everybody this uh, scripture. Very helpful. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, He said to them, Because of your little faith, for truly I said to you, if you have faith like a grain of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Yes, we can move the mountain just by our prayers, by our faith. You must have faith whenever you pray for anything to our Lord Jesus. Believe that miracle will come to you. If you need a miracle, say the miracle to the Lord Jesus. He's coming to rescue you, to rescue you from your horrible situation, okay? If you already received this message from Lord Jesus right now, please post your comment under my video to let God know that you receive it. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in the next video. God loves you and I love you too. Bye.